It is no longer news that the modern etiquette long Boko Haram insurgency in the northeast Nigeria has affected livelihoods and communities displaced for years. Banki Town is one of the many communities now resettled, with inhabitants struggling to revive their means of survival. The United Nations arrived to champion the cause of reviving the war-torn region and build resilience through discussions on key security and economic issues, according to Secretary General of the International Body, Antonio Guterres. The Borno I found today is a Borno of hope, is a Borno with future. And I was very impressed to see the policy that is being applied here, recognizing that you don't fight terrorism just by military means, you fight terrorism addressing the root causes of terrorism. The humanitarian crisis in the northeast region of Nigeria, according to Borno State Governor Professor Babagana Umara Zulum, requires more support to the victims as well as the repentant Boko Haram insurgents that have continued to surrender in their numbers leading to overstretched facilities which he says will affect the peace building process if not addressed. We need to have support in building back the lives of not only the over 70,000 farmers who have released back to their communities to continue farming activities, but also the host communities through increase in the self-stabilization facilities. The UN chief, Antonio Guterres, also took time to listen to the plight of IDPs and the repentant insurgents with the hope of making further discussions with the federal government to nip loopholes and hasten the rebuilding process. This is the first time the United Nations Secretary General, Antonio Guterres, is visiting the ancient city of Meduguri, a development seen by stakeholders as an enabler for sustainable peace in Meduguri, Umoru Kirawa. NTA News. Very well, Kirawa, and away from the United.